It was. Was it? Yeah, I look back on it and uh, it was easy money. Um, I've had partners um, since 1988 all the way through the year 2000. And then at the point of the year 2000, I started taking investors and not partners. Actually, in 1998, I stopped taking investors. I started taking investors and not partners. So basically, mm -hmm. the partners would be just taking a huge part of the pie. The investors, I would just loan, basically take a loan from them at a certain interest rate fixed. And if the project was successful, I won. If it wasn't successful, they didn't lose. So they were happy taking a certain fixed rate of income. And that's what I also suggest um, that the, uh, the listeners do is don't make them partners. Make these people investors, uh, yeah. promissory notes. Yeah. Um, and we've had, we haven't had partners since 1998. Yeah. And I just want to mention, too, for our viewers that all the information we're covering here is in much more detail on the Architect as Developer online series that you can find at architectasdeveloper.com. So, Jonathan, going back really quick to that easy money, um, was that was that a case? I, 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 didn't, I didn't say easy money. Yeah. I said it was easier than I, I I thought would be to get it. Okay, well, fair enough. And was was that a, a product of the time? Was it a product of the people that you were talking to? Are there any keys that we could use to find those kind of people in our own lives? I think the key to success is having confidence in what you do. I think what we do on a daily basis is sell ourselves. And if you're a bad salesman, it's not going to happen for you. Um, let's say you're going to try and sell me to invest in your project. I want to know that you understand the neighborhood or the location. I want to understand that you know the product. I want to understand that you've been in that product. Um, if, you, if you live in San Jose and you're trying to sell me on Mammoth and you've never skied in your life, but you want to do a condo and you work on um, office buildings, nothing's bad enough for me. But if you're going to do something in San Jose 